Saturday at Mondo Video. Mom and Dad's favorite day. Why? Because they own it. My least favorite day. Why? Because they own it. And Dutiful Son works while the rest of the world plays. Excuse me. I'm looking for action and adventure. Not a problem. Okay, so the job does have its advantages. The pay is good, the customers are friendly. Shoplifter! Shoplifter! And I get to see my little sister pretend she's Hulk Hogan. Hey, he's getting away! Somebody stop Had it. enough? Kids, don't try this at home. Short guy, red hair, freckles, pasty white skin. He was a tall black man, about 20. He had a medium build. About 40 years old. Her eyes were real beady. In the aftermath of confusion, you rely on your law enforcement professional to sift through the clues. OK, Pat, what you got? Unfortunately, we get the rejects <laughs> from Police Academy. Officers, this is our 10th shoplifting in two weeks. Can't you do something? Well, I sympathize, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Mondo. Uh, but you see, shoplifters are a tricky bunch. The only sure way to nab one is to have one of us here when it happens. Well, maybe we can just notify you before the next ripoff. Well, now, there you go. You'd think the rigors of high school would give me a break from crime and punishment, but something else is being stolen. Jerry's heart. Love story. In the words of Phil Collins, Something's happened on the way to heaven. Her name's Gina Lang, sirs. Ooh, nice one, Chair. You should get to know her. Hospital volunteer, 3.2 GPA, mountain biker. Her hobbies include... We mean in person. Say hi. Press the flesh. And risk dropping my load again? I should think not, sirs. I... I hate to desert him, but for Jerry Steiner, it's time to sink or swim. I have a feeling he'll take to this like a duck to water. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> I, I'm Jerry. Hi, I'm Gina. I know, I have a dossier on you. So, who's your friend? The dangerous one with the dark hair. Oh, Mr. Randall, uh, Mikey, he's a junior. Tell Mikey, I think he's hot. How'd it go, Jared? Did you get her phone number? Mr. Lewis, Mr. Randall, crazy glue. Seal me in, sirs. There, there, there. Wait, come back. Hey, Lemmer. Maybe if you say please. That hoodlum stole a very special endangered species purse that I've been entrusted to clean. Who knows what Miss Musso will do when she's found out I've lost it. What are you worried about, Lemmer? Miss Musso's crazy about you. She'll be fine. Consider yourself on probation, Frank. I expect clearer thinking from a special obedience helper than to leave a valuable mink-lined alligator purse in an unlocked locker. Do you think this is Iowa, for God's sake? Bad boy. Rumor has it the kid stomped on Coob's ringding during his escape. Whatever it was that turned Kubiak into campus vigilante, I just got the best idea I've had since homeroom massages. It involves six feet, seven inches, 280 pounds of thundering crime stopper named Larry Kubiak. Is good. Is brilliant. Mondo Video, or as my parents call it, Crime Central. In the past 10 days, shoplifting has accounted for $865 in losses, two wrestling matches at the door, and a muffed chance to get the phone number of a girl who liked the way I filled her order. Yes, it's time for RoboCube. He's a big boy. Just speak ladies on our side. Bad 
news to bad guys. The Coob is on the case. One Judas Priest CD, one Night of the Living Dead, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 laser disc, and Bambi. Awesome brush fire, dude. There you go. Enjoy. Dad, do we have to have the Coob around? He gives me the creeps. Come on, Shell, what do you mean? You talking to me? Well, punk, you talking to me? I don't see anyone else around. So you must be talking to me. <laughs> That's right. I'm bad. Mental note. Hide the Terminator videos. I think Parker's idea is a good one, Shelly. It gives us some peace of mind. And it's only costing minimum wage. Yeah, and there was no room in the gorilla cage at the zoo. All right, creep. Meet Mr. Pavement. Easy, Larry. Easy. Don't hurt him. I got one for you, Mr. Lewis. Reverend Rafferty? When priests go bad. What? What's this all about? It's all about this tape, which you were going to walk out that door with. I was coming in. I was returning it. it, it here's my receipt. Aha! It's not rewound. Oh, nice uh, collar, Coob. Shoplifter Eradication Plan K may have a slight glitch. For an after-school job, Kubiak is taking it just a bit seriously. Whoa. It's Dirty Larry. Sorry I'm late, sirs. The cafeteria was jammed. This being pumpkin yogurt day and everything. How was it? They ran out just when it was my turn. I'm sorry. Mikey! Wait up! I saved one for you. Pumpkin. Hey. Chair? Go ahead, Mr. Randall. I can wait till next month. Anybody need a ride? Oh, thanks, but I'm riding the Harley. Well, if it's not too far out of your way. Excuse me, Mr. Wonderful. What's wrong with Jerry? Did he drop his Big Bird thermos again? I don't know, but the kid's down pretty bad. Reminder, find out what has Jerry bummed. But first, I have a bigger fish to fry. Moby Coo. Problem? No, Coop. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying... You hired me to cool shoplifters. I'm cooling shoplifters. Employee counseling. It's more than an art. It's a health hazard. I know, and you're doing a great job, Coob. It's just... I was wondering if maybe you could be a little... nicer? Yeah. Like that. Hands against the wall, creep! I'm glad we had this talk. When did my life get so complicated? Just when I finished with Kubiak, a crisis is brewing on the school front. Park, Jerry's missing. We'll start a manhunt. We'll walk through a typical Jerry day. You take the pet shops, I'll hit the major department store spoon department. Get a grip, guys. I'm right here. Trey, Mikey, chair. Steiner? Mikey? Park? Park? What happened to sir? What happened to mister? 
What happened to... Jerry, what's with you? You have to ask? At long last, I have achieved coolness. So Jerry's having an identity crisis. Okay, there's worse people he could be identifying with. Roseanne Barr, for one. Empty those pockets. Now! Larry, what are you doing? I saw him take money out of the register. Coop, he owns the store. Can't be too careful, can you, Mr. Lewis? Dad, I know Coop's kind of... Scary? Dangerous, psycho. Zealous. But he is doing his job. I mean, we haven't had a shoplifting in three weeks. Parker, we haven't had a customer in three weeks. There's those videos I rented, dude. They're rewound. Uh, and here's a hundred bucks. You can just, like, mail me the change, okay, dude? You're gonna fire him, aren't you? Well, I think... Uh... He needs to go, yes. He knows where we live. Dad, wasn't it Parker's idea to hire him? Didn't Parker talk you into this? Shouldn't Parker be the one to do it? <laughs> you know, Parker, your sister makes sense. Now, I could be the one to, uh, fire Larry. But I think taking on a responsibility like this will be a character-building experience for you. So yes, Parker, I want you to fire Kubiak. You talking to me? Twenty after eight, eight twenty-two to be exact. I'm usually not a stickler for time this early in the morning, but when you're about to fire Kubiak, you savor every minute as if it were your last. What are you doing? I was just about to get your teeth fed to you. That's an alternative I can live with. This is no time to give Kubiak bad news. He's mad. They just cut him from the football team. He's too big for his helmet. <laughs> Whoa! I feel the earth move. This jury thing is just too big a slab for my flight. I'd like to help, but I still got this coop thing to deal with. Unless you want to trade. Which... Oh, no, no, no. You, you go ahead. Jerry! What's with you? He's the clutch, Mikey. Let's jam. Jam? A couple days ago, the only jam you knew was the apricot stuff you can on weekends. Canned. I'm through with the geek thing. And lucky me to have you as a role model, sir. I mean, Mr. Rent. I mean, Mikey. Yeah, lucky. Operation Renacube, phase one, the direct approach. OK, Park, nothing to it. Walk over, suck up your courage, and hit him with the truth. My aunt in Nova Scotia needs an operation and we can't afford you anymore. I'll take a pay cut. My afternoons are free and I need to be busy. Not a problem. Well, that was painless. Phase two, the red tape rescue. What's going on out here? Ms. Musso, I was just calling attention to an irregularity in Larry Kubiak's work permit. Which is? He doesn't have one. Slam dunk. When it comes to bureaucratic nightmares, Musso's Freddy, Leatherface, and the Bride of Frankenstein rolled into one. Hey, it was a figure of speech. Whatever Kubiak needs, Kubiak gets. But, Miss Musso, this creates a huge problem for me, and Aww. I... Aww! <laughs> a boo 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 <laughs> Phase three, relocation. Not for me, for Kubiak. A 
simple plan. Find him another job, and the pressure's off me. Shouldn't Jerry be doing this? He says it's too geeky. Uh, well, we gotta do something. He's setting music back worse than Ozzy Osbourne. Whoa! Hey, you don't have to bite my head off. I cross-index all of Kubiak's data and fax the results to the local employment agencies. And? Two of them unplugged their fax machines, one quit and became a 7-Eleven, and the other one called the Animal Control Department. What about you? I banged on the classifieds all morning. Are you ready? I found him another gig. Mikey, that's great! But it doesn't start for another six months when the circus gets here. Phase four, check out high schools in Portugal. You people uh, you have know, to, it, you it, have it, to understand our point mom, of view on this. Mom and dad aren't so thrilled with how long it's taking me to adios the coup. Neither are the other mall merchants whose business is the lowest since 1986. Oh, in 1986, this was a vacant lot. Do it. D-Day. Discharge day for Kubiak. I tossed my speech in my head all night and spent the morning making all the necessary arrangements. I'm ready. Good morning, Larry. How's it going? Glad you can make it. Missed breakfast for this. Run, Parker. Run for your life. I've got news about work. Your dad's gonna let me have that bullhorn? No. I really love this job, Parker. And I like your folks. And I can tell how they feel about me. It's not just the work. Sure, I like the uniform and the money. But you know what I like the most? The popcorn? <laughs> popcorn. No. What I like the most is that it's the first time in my whole life I feel like uh, I fit in somewhere. Fit in? From the guy whose head split 16 football helmets this season? I think I understand. Tell me you understand what it's like from first thing in the morning to last thing at night to have people look at you like a freak of nature. <sighs> Tell me you understand what it feels like to be called Godzilla or Jumbo, or Tiny. Tell me you know how much it hurts when everyone is laughing at you because you've got another bruise on your forehead from hitting the top of the doorway. <sighs> Second grade was no picnic. Do you know what I think, Park? The first time I meet someone, I watch their eyes go up and up and up, and then they laugh? Or scream? I think four inches. Just four inches shorter, and this person would be dealing with who I am, not how I am. Four inches, and he'd be treating me like a human being, not some monster. <sighs> Ugh, roadkill. I hate when that happens. Listen, Larry, I'm glad you sense the respect that we have for you, but I... I'm not finished! <laughs> I'm turning in my badge. You're quitting? I know, I know. You and your folks gave me a break. Gave me self-respect. But as grateful as I am, lifelong dreams come true only once and I have to take advantage of a major career opportunity when it presents itself. You mean? I got a busboy job at a smorgasbord. <laughs> Life is good. I'm off the hook with Kubiak, my parents won't go broke, and the coolest video store in town is back in business. Yep, looks like everybody wins. Except maybe that smorgasbord. Okay, Park, you ready? Do you really think this will wake Jer up? It's a scientifically proven classic psychological approach, sir. I saw it on a Patty Duke rerun. Trey Gigi, sir. Jer, what happened to your look? Well, 
I stood at the mirror this morning and I saw the ugly truth. That you're destined to be who you are? That affectations are only superficial? No, that I'm allergic to leather goods. See? Ew. Ooh. And I do realize that I am who I am. And too bad if people can't see you for who you are, right? Actually, sir, the problem is people do see me for who I am. But that's okay with me. And with me. And me. Chair, can I take your lunch order? Coolness, sir. They say high school is all about finding yourself. Maybe it's also about dealing with who it is you found and having friends there to help you with both. Mr. Lewis? Mr. Randall? Mr. Phillips? Hello?